Hello, my friends. Good morning. I'm here to sing a song with you. It's called, We're So Glad You Came to Play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? How are you on this special day? We're so glad you came to play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Hello, my friends. Let's review our listening rules before we begin. Eyes watching, ears listening, voice quiet, body calm. Great job. I have a little rhyme to read to you today and it's got our letter of the day in it. It's a tricky letter because it's always paired with another one. We did learn this letter at school, so possibly you remember it. Let's see. Quiet quail, quiet quail, on her quilt, on her quilt. The queen says it's a quarter, the queen says it's a quarter. Quiet quail, quiet quail. Quail. What is that letter? It makes a sound qua, qua. Can you say that sound with me? Qua. That's right. It's a Q. Q makes the qua sound. I'm going to trace the Q that I made up here and then you can make one at home. Okay. So if you have your tracing paper, you can get that out and trace your Q or you can write it on a, a plain piece of paper. I wrote a line because the lowercase q goes under the line. I'll show you, okay? So all of our letters start at the top. Our q is a big closed circle like an O, and then it has this little line through at the bottom, q. Then our lowercase q goes below the line, okay? So it starts at the top and makes the magic C. It goes back up to the top and down under the line and scoops out the back. That's a q. The special thing about the scoop out the back is it usually holds a second letter because q always goes with u. I'm gonna show you in our rhyme, okay? Q says qua. The first word in this rhyme is quiet. Let's trace it. There's Q, and look what's right next to Q. That's a U. Q and U go together, okay? Here's our lowercase Q, it goes below the line, magic C up, down, and a little tail out the back. Quiet quail. Quiet quail. There's our little tail. The tail holds what letter? U. So Q and U go together. What two letters go together? Q and U. That's right. On her quilt. I spy a Q. Oh, I gave that one a curly tail. On her quilt. The queen. Now we make the magic C. Go back up, down, and the tail. The queen says it's a quarter. The queen says it's a quarter. Quiet quail, quiet quail, oops. And what two letters go together? Q and U, that's right. Let's count how many Qs we traced. I think it's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen Qs. That's hard. Q is a hard word or a hard letter. Fourteen is a teen number. So it, all teen numbers start with one and a fourteen is a one and a four. Fourteen Qs were in our rhyme. Now, Let's get out our mystery bag and see what words we have that start with Q. Oh, there's something different in here today. Let's see if we can find our Q letters. Oh, I found my uppercase Q. There's my uppercase Q, a circle, and the line comes out the bottom. Q. 
And then our lowercase q looks like this. Magic C up and down with a little tail at the bottom. Which letter goes along with the Q? Kind of sits on the tail. U, that's right. Qua. Qua. Say the sound that Q makes with me. Qua. All right, let's see what we found. Ooh, a uh, quilt. Qua, qua, quilt. Quilt. A queen. Qua. Qu queen and let's see what else we have here oh this was in our rhyme quiet qu qu quiet Shh. let's see i've got something else in my mystery bag oh you guys know what this is look it's alphabet soup what letter soup are we eating today q that's right let's see what's inside our alphabet soup can um, what's that? Quiet, that's right. Let me put it with quiet right there. Ooh, this is a new one. What's this? Question mark. It's like if you don't know something, question mark. Put that down here, can you see that? Good. Okay. What's that? A queen, that's right, a queen. We'll put that with her, two different queens. Let's see, do you know that? Quilt, that's right, quilt, qu qu quilt. Let's see, oh, this, my friends, is a quail. That's what our rhyme was about today, quail. Put that down here with my question mark. Oh, there's still, oh. The other thing in here is a uppercase Q and I have a lowercase Q in here and it looks a little bit different. It doesn't have the tail on the end. You can make a Q that way. I prefer not to because I think it's a little bit tricky. So I'm not going to put that up because the way I want you to learn it is with a tail on the end because I think it's helpful to remember when you have that tail, you goes along with it. Okay, I have a book to read, the Q book. It's called Quack, Quiet, Quick. Quack, Quiet, Quick. I'll start with what letter? Q. Q makes the qu sound. Quack, Quiet, Quick. Hmm, I wonder what this story is about. They look like they're going to the pond. Let's see. Quack, said the duck. Quiet, said the girl. Quick, said the man. Why did he say quick? Because it started raining. Quack, said the duckling. There's a baby duckling. Quiet, said the frog. Quick, said the duck. They quick swam away. Quack, quiet, quick. The end. Qua, Q. Hi friends, it's Miss Major. Today we're gonna to be singing the five little monkeys swinging from a tree song, okay? With the alligator. So if you wanna sing along or move with me, go right ahead, okay? Here we go. Five little monkeys swinging from a tree. Tears and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap those monkeys right out of that tree. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. Tears and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap! monkeys right out of that tree. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator quiet as can be. And snap those monkeys right out of that tree. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. 
Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped those monkeys right out of that tree. One little monkey swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped those monkeys right out of that tree. No more monkeys swinging on a tree. Alright guys, I hope you like that song. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, we're going to read this silly book I found. It's called Squeeze a Sneeze by Bill Morrison. If you're sitting around with nothing to do, I've got a game to play with you. You take some words and make them rhyme. It's a wonderful way to pass some time. Maybe um, after I read this story, you and your moms and dads can think of some rhyming words. That would be fun. To start your own game, just look around and pick something, some things that have the same sound. Then mix them together and you'll surely find the funniest pictures will dance in your mind. You, you're using words and words as you know to help out wherever you go. Here are some words that I keep in my hat. Like pickle and tickle and poor alley cat. I, I scrabble them up and pick out a few and make up rhymes that are funny and new. Can you tickle a pickle for a nickel? Or kiss a lime for a dime? Squeeze a sneeze or sit on a flea's and a flea's knee? Cool your tea with the wings of a bee? Share a pear with a hungry bear? Bake a cake with your favorite snake? Buy a tall hat with a poor, for a poor alley cat? Hat, cat, those rhyme. Watch a fat frog fall off a log. Frog, log, those are the rhyming words. Find a bug on your rug and give it a hug. Oh, that had three. Do you guys know what they are? Bug, rug, hug. Hit a fly in his eye with a blueberry pie. Make a man sneeze with a mouthful of peas. Sneeze, peas. Make sure it's dark if you bark at a shark. Paint a bean green to give to a queen. Stuff a goose and a moose in a tiny caboose. Take a snail for a sail in a polka dotted pail. Yikes. Try your own words and have some fun. I've got to go. I've got to run. I've no more time to make some rhymes. See you later, alligator. So that's the end of the book, guys. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of three rhymes and have your mom and dad write them down and then you can send your rhymes to Miss Taggart through email. And have a good day, guys. Bye. Hi, friends. Today's number of the day is number 13, which is a one and a three together. That makes 13. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What number? Thirteen. Let's count thirteen popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen popsicle sticks. Great job. Now there's some different ways to write the number thirteen. I have thirteen dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Great job. I have some blocks to stack too. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow, that's really tall. All right, we also have another way, which are the tally marks. Let's look at them. One, two, three, four, five, close the gate. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, close the gate. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Great job. To keep working on those ABC patterns, I'm going to make a pattern and count to thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, dark blue, white, light blue, 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 dark blue. Thanks friends, see you soon.